So EA just dropped the first icon SBCs of FIFA 21. Let's see which are worth it and which aren't. So tonight at 6 p.m. EA dropped three brand new icon SBCs. And I wanted to discuss them with you guys and talk about the value and, and sort of where we stand with these SBCs. And if you should complete any of them, which ones complete. Now, first things first, the three players are Van der Sar, Luis Figo and Zanetti. It is a um, mid Figo base uh, Van der Sar and a, a mid Zanetti. Now, the interesting thing that I find about this is all three of them have five game loans. Now, you guys know as well as I do, loans do not expire in friendlies. Therefore, you basically have all three of these cards for the rest of the game in friendlies for objectives, which I'm, I'm honestly not complaining about. Like, I, I of all people, could not complain. I have one of the best teams in the entire game. I cannot be salty at people being able to use icons in friendlies for the rest of the game, especially when these icons aren't even the top tier icons. Um, but I do find it interesting and probably going to be frustrating for a lot of you guys in friendlies having to play against their same icons constantly. Um, and as time goes on, potentially full icon teams eventually uh, in friendlies, which might become a bit frustrating. But in terms of the three SBCs, honestly, the only worth it SBC that I see out of this slot is the uh, is the Van der Sar. Now, Figo is incredibly expensive, in my opinion. Um, he requires an 89, an 88, an 87, an 86, uh, then an 82, an 81, um, and then a silver and a bronze team. Now, this is quite expensive in my opinion, and and given the fact we've just had a player of the month, player of the month son and a bunch of other SBCs requiring our fodder, there's going to be a lot of people that have already used their fodder and don't really have players to complete an, an 89, an 88, an 87, for example. Um, now, don't get me wrong, it's not massively overpriced. It's probably around his market value, but in my opinion, for an untradeable card, um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, it also doesn't specify if these packs are untradeable or not, so I can only assume that they are tradable, which is actually a win if they are, because we were all expecting untradeable packs, but I mean, I think we have to complete an SBC to find out whether they are untradeable or not. But this Van der Sar looks to be probably the only worth it SBC out of them all so far. Uh, it actually looks decent value as well. Um, it's an 86, an 85, an 84, an 82, a silver and a bronze team. So it's actually not too much. Um, and I do want to complete one of the SBC. Uh, was it one of the um, yeah one of the SBCs to see if they are tradable or untradable packs? Um, let's see what fodder I've got in the club. All right, so I've got to done the 86 rated squad for uh, Van der Sar. It's honestly not difficult at all. These are all just untradable cards in the club that won't get used at all in, the, in any of my teams or anything like that. So I thought I would uh, submit it, and we will see right now whether or not that uh, this pack is tradable. I would assume it's tradable given the fact that it's only a rare mixed players pack. I believe last year. Uh, the 86 rated squads gave us um, sort of rare players packs or 45k packs, not rare mixed players packs, which aren't actually very good packs at all. Um, so I can only assume that they are tradable, which if they are tradable, that yeah, they are tradable. So that's not bad, to be fair. At least they are tradable as opposed to untradable. Uh, it wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past EA for them to not even say untradable and then be untradable. So at least that uh, they are tradable. So that is a small... Uh, very, very small victory in terms of the SBCs because I am not sure I would be on board with uh, an entire uh, icon SBC with all untradeable packs and then the untradeable player at the end of it as well. I think that would be pretty silly. Now, the other thing that is a actual victory in, in, in regards to these SBCs and now I'm very happy about this is as you can see, it says team of the week or foot champions players. So red foot champions cards now are eligible as team of the week items, which gives... The, the useless high rated red cards you may have in your club a lot more value than they had before. For example, as you see Voland here, uh, an 84 rated vet, uh, 84 rated vet, an 84 rated red now has a lot more value because he actually counts as an, uh, an inform and an icon SBC. I am a big fan of that. Very happy with that because, for example, I saw a lot of people this weekend getting, or, or this week, sorry, getting the likes of, um, I think they're getting the likes of Sommer and people like that uh, in their uh, rewards, which obviously is not great and people are not going to use a Sommer. Um, however, that's an 87 rated technically informed now and an icon SBC gives it a lot more value. I'm a big fan of that as well. I think that's very, very decent. Uh, I am very, very happy with that for sure. Um, and, uh, and and I think that's definitely a good addition to the Icon SBCs this year. As I said before, I think that the uh, Van der SBC is actually pretty decent value and it's something that you can sort of craft towards with... Uh, upgrade packs as opposed to say Figo which probably is craftable but only for the kind of elite grinders of people that work really really hard to grind 
um, every single day and can grind bronze packs and stuff like that. I think that this uh, Vanessa, though, is pretty attainable pretty quickly. Um, and I don't think it's a bad card. Now, obviously, uh, the mid one is the one that was known to be OP, but I think goalkeepers just goalkeepers this year. I don't think that they're particularly amazing no matter who they are. So I think that's actually not a bad uh, SPC to complete. And I, for one, am definitely going to complete this kind of right now. I know there's nothing in packs and I probably shouldn't be opening the reward packs for these and saving them for uh, Black Friday or something next week, but... I like opening packs, so we're opening them anyway. And that is the Edwin van der Sar SPC completed. Uh, and it would have probably cost me... I mean, I didn't, I didn't actually have to buy anyone. It would have probably cost me, I want to say, 200 to 300,000 coins, which I don't think is terrible value for this card. I don't think it's amazing, but I don't think it's terrible. However, one thing I will say is just be patient. Last year... Uh, sorry, last time we got Icon SPCs, uh, we didn't get the best icons at the start, and that's true. Um, but, you know, typically you'll get more icons as uh, the year goes through. I think we'll get another set of three next week for Black Friday, which will be a little bit better uh, to encourage pack opening and things like that. I think we'll get uh, more towards Footmas and then obviously more towards Team of the Year and things like that. I think that the level of icon we get will improve. I really do. I think it'll improve pretty quickly as well as the power curve improves. Um, so I wouldn't be too... Uh, put off or angry because the way I see it we didn't even get icon SPCs last year so realistically it's something they added in after uproar of us not getting them last year um, so the least we can do is be a little bit patient with them um, and see what we get but like I said Vandasar SPC is not terrible value it's nice to have an icon in the club and also uh, one thing I will say which is not bad is if you, if you can do this for cheap with players in your club I think that Later down the line, if we do get bigger icons that require icons in their packs, uh, so uh, sorry, in the SBC, sorry. So, for example, um, if we get like a, a quite an expensive one that requires an icon, you have Edward Manasar then to submit, and you will get uh, obviously whatever pack you get back from that and complete a, a big stage of that SBC too. So, it's not, you know, it's not the worst in the world, and I think that there's a few different ways to look at it, but not the best start. I would have, I would have appreciated a bit of a better start. Um, however, you know, we don't always get what we want, realistically. Um, but we're just going to finish off these packs and see what we can get in the uh, in the finish after this. By the way, let me know in the comments down below how many of you guys are playing on the PS5 or the Xbox now. Um, I'm intrigued to hear how many of you guys are playing on the new consoles. Uh, and let me know what you think of the new menus uh, or the menus on the new consoles. Sorry, because, um, yeah, they feel a lot quicker, man. There's still a little bit of lag here and there. There's still a little bit of delay, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of lag. But um, overall, yeah, it feels really decent. And there we go. We have our new icon goalkeeper which almost completes the full icon squad which uh is absolutely gross but thank you all for watching this video make sure to leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy it and let me know down below if you're going to complete any of the icons uh thank you all for the epic support on the channel as well um and hopefully ea bring out some better icon SBCs in the future i really want to get at least one player in this team um i hope they bring out an icon SBC 4 i'm thinking maybe like desai or actually cola someone like that uh over the next sort of month or so but yeah we'll sort of see what happens uh but thank you all for the support and i'll see you lads later